And now from the forewarned storm center, meteorologist Thomas Geeboy with weather. Well, it feels like we've been stuck in the summertime rut with seeing those afternoon thunderstorms and also just temperatures right around 90 degrees today holding true to that basically consistent with what we have seen for the past few days. As we look at the local radar, though, you can see earlier today, for the most part, main, the most part of the showers were in the northern portions of the wiregrass, but we've been watching an outflow boundary basically all day today, and the, as it's made its way further to the south, it's beginning to influence more thunderstorms, and we're starting to see the heaviest one right now in Geneva County. There's plenty of lightning associated with it, so if you are in Geneva County, make sure that you have some time to get inside. Also, still watching basically a thunderstorm riding along I-10, just north of Defuniac Spring. But as we go further in time, that outflow boundary is going to start to lose its steam as we go throughout the rest of the daytime hours and it loses the daytime heating. Temperatures across the wiregrass can definitely tell where it has rain. We topped out today at 92 degrees today uh, after those storms came through and we saw that outflow boundary come through as well. Temperatures do dropped very nicely, getting into the, about the upper 70s and still very warm in Donaldsonville and Mariana. Still haven't seen the rain yet. Temperatures still into the lower 90s and this pattern has just been consistent. Very stubborn high pressure off to the east hasn't had really anything to move it, but notice this cold front. This is starting to make its way further to the south and as it does so, it'll slowly begin to push that high pressure off and we'll finally begin to see just a little pattern change. However, even though we're going to get rid of that pattern change with the associated cold front, we'll still see that spark some afternoon showers as well. So as we go through the local future cast, still going to hold on the chance for rain as we go throughout the rest of the evening. So make sure you keep the umbrella with you just in case. So we go through tomorrow morning, maybe you just a few areas of some patchy fog and then tomorrow with feeling the effects from the cold front we'll probably most likely have just a few isolated showers but future cast not really picking up on much right there so rain chances are going to be a little bit lower than what we saw today and speaking of the fog though you can see some spots coming in at less than a mile of visibility so if you do pick up some decent rain or if you have picked up some decent rain good chance that we're going to see this fog high temperatures tomorrow afternoon Definitely going to be another warm one. That cold front, even though it's called a cold front, definitely not going to cool us down much at all. As we go through the next couple days, though, notice, the, notice this cold front. It's going to be pushing that high pressure off to the east. So this is going to end up changing our pattern. But notice, kind of just hangs out, especially as we go into the day on Thursday. So this is going to keep the chance of seeing those isolated afternoon pop-up storms. So make sure you keep the umbrella handy, and especially as we go through as we go through Thursday. But moving into the day on Friday, high pressure builds in. Low pressure finally gets its act together and makes its way further to the south, and we'll start to feel some northerly flow, which should really inhibit rain chances, especially as we go into the day on Friday and also as we start the weekend. So it looks like Friday and Saturday definitely shaping up to be better days. Gulf cast, though, not so great day going to the beach tomorrow. So if you're headed down there, make sure you're just a little extra careful, moderate chance for a rip current, but that water temperature though almost starting to feel like bath water 82 degrees and it's already May. But as we look at the five day forecast, rain chances not as high as what we have seen for the past week. And then notice Friday and Saturday going down to 10 and 20 percent respectively with temperatures much closer to average, not cooling us down that much, but it'll be good to get rid of the 90s and finally have a day just full of sunshine instead of having to deal with those afternoon pesky thunderstorms. Yeah, it's like you said earlier that so called cold front cold front right we it's know that it's a cold front but it's not cooling us down air, at yeah. all <laughs> not fish at all. posh it lied to us right <laughs> all right thank you <laughs> okay. sports